What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my six quart Instant Pot Ultra. And today for dinner, I'm gonna make. All right, guys, I got my ribs here. I seasoned them about a half an hour ago. If I get my camera to. There we go. Seasoned them about a half an hour ago. All I did, guys, kept it simple. Use some smoked paprika and some applewood rub. That's it. That's what I felt like doing today. I was going to use some butt rub seasoning because, ladies, you know I like to rub the butt before I do my thing. But today, I want to take it a different route. I heard this is a good combination, so I wanted to try it out. Also, while that's going... I am just to be different. I'm gonna put I'm gonna saute these onions in my um my dash egg cooker. I'll show you guys that in a second as well. And I'll finish off the ribs in the air fryer. But anyway, let's let's get the ribs in the pressure cooker. Okay guys, I'm going to use um one cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to pour that in there. Boom. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put my rack in there. Like so. I'm going to hit it <clears throat> with two good squirts of liquid smoke. Just because. One, two. Now it's time to put in the baby back ribs. All right, that's what we're looking like. Okay, guys, it's on high pressure. Keep warm. Okay, cool. 25 minutes. Yep. Hit me. Don't judge me, y'all. This is where I keep my, da my dash egg cooker. <clears throat> right here. Go ahead and put my water in there. The measuring cup it came with. I just put the same amount of water that it would require for a hard boiled egg. Put my onions in. Oh, actually, let me take that off. Making sure everything could fit. Everything looks good. Put the top on. All I do is flip the switch. Down there. This is what we look like in 30 seconds later. All right, guys, see you back in 25 minutes. So as you can see, bones are sticking out. They're ready to come right on out. It smells absolutely fantastic. Don't worry, it looks a little weird coming out of the pressure cooker. That's why we um, we normally put it on the grill. Or in my case, I'm going to put it in the air fryer to caramelize it. So don't you even worry. So let's go ahead and get this out, get the bones out, and put some sweet baby rays on. Alright guys, so let's give you a little example. Bones should just come right on off just like that. 25 minutes. I got my Paula Dean 8.5 quart uh, air fryer basket out and I'm going to put all four of them in there. Um, what I'm going to do 
is uh, put some Sweet Baby Rays on both sides and put some, um, well let me show you, hold on. Alright, this is what I'm going to use, Sweet Baby Rays Honey Barbecue Sauce. I'm going to put that on both sides, brush it, and then each side I'm going to just sprinkle some of this on there as well. Alright guys, so I'm just going to put it in the air fryer for about 10 minutes, full blast, um, flip at 5 minutes. Set timer for 5 minutes. 5 minutes, starting now. And while that's going y'all, I did chop up some uh, pepperoncinis because I don't like pickles y'all, I'm sorry, so that's the best you're going to get out of me. And what's funny y'all, what inspired this meal was um, I had these hoagie rolls, these three hoagie rolls left that I didn't want to throw away and I want to make something good in them. So, there you have it. <laughs> All right. That's how I like to see him. Mmm. Now, for extra credit tonight, since my hoagie rolls aren't as wide as other breads you would do this with, I went ahead and cut my ribs up to each rib each. And it was easy. It was just I just put the knife through and it went right through. So, no problem. So, I want to do it that way. But if you have a wide piece of bread or if you're using just regular bread, it just plop it right on there and eat it. But look at that, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. All right, guys, I'm going to put some garlic um, butter on the bottom. All right, so we're going to load up the first sandwich. Now, the first sandwich is going to be completely duck style. Almost forgot my onion, y'all. Almost forgot them. Go ahead and put them in. All right, we'll go ahead and hit it with some Texas peat as well. A couple drops. Oh yeah. Then, put my pepperoncinis on there. I know y'all could decorate it better than me, but you know, I'm a guy. Oh yeah, we're coming together right now. Put some ribs on top of that. And now, I'm going to finalize it with some more Baby Ray's. Now that, that's Doug style right there. Alright, I'll make our second one real quick. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. This sandwich I'm making for y'all. Can't say I ain't hook y'all up. I think y'all's look better than mine. <laughs> but it's all good. That's how much love I got for y'all. Alright guys, we are ready to eat. So first... We're going to try out yours. Since you got to take the first bite anyway. See that, y'all? Look at all that. Sautéed onions. Smelling good. Take the first bite. You got it? All right, let me try it. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. It's good, y'all. Definitely try this out. Alright, guys, and finally, 
I'll let y'all have a taste of mine. Go ahead. All right, let me take a bite. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Both are very good. But the purpose of this video is to show you something different to do with your ribs. <clears throat> Me and my homegirl Denise and my pressure cooker group, we were talking about the uh, McDonald's McRibs. So this is kind of my version of it. I never had it at McDonald's. But I saw a picture of it. That was a cool idea. And this is how we're going to do it. So that's all I got. I'll leave a link in the description to my pressure cooker group. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. We have over 7,000 members in there. No matter what um, pressure cooker you have. Whether it be an Instant Pot, a Kasori, Go Eyes, whatever. Got a pressure cooker, come in my group. Also, I'll leave a link in the description to my air fryer group. We have over 47,000 members in there. If you have whatever air fryer you have, whether it be a Cook's Essentials, Paula Dean, doesn't matter. Come in my air fryer group, share your recipes, or get recipes. And also, if you have an Instagram, look me up, Cooking with Doug on Instagram, and join there as well for some um, pictures and whatnot. But that's all I got, guys. I'm going to enjoy this. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug.